It has happened again. Once again, this wannabe tolerant and straight malophobe media world, which is controlled by certain people, ensures that another great brand gets ruined. This time, it's about the best video game series ever, The Witcher or the fourth offshot of the series. As a result of the Netflix series on The Witcher, the brand has already suffered enormously due to the absolutely wrong and pointless casting of the roles by the hired actors. You know exactly which roles I mean and why. One look at the cast is enough and it becomes immediately clear. I mean, Fringilla Vigo looks like this, not like this. Chris Marigold looks like this, not like this. And so on. And whoa, you're accusing me now of hate speech. I am a Serbo-Jew. I am the last one to hate someone because of their ethnicity. My ancestors had to let millions of lives because of it. But enough is enough. Imagine Activision makes a remake of Prototype 2 with the main character looking like this. I wouldn't like it. Because the real protagonist of Prototype 2, James Haller, looks like this. And that's how I want to see him, not otherwise. And that's exactly how it should be with other franchises too. In our case, today, The Witcher. The Witcher cannot survive without Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia is the foundation of The Witcher. And now, the intolerant, anti-white Christian straight malophobia of the media world in the West, controlled by certain circles, is making sure that the game is stripped of this foundation after almost all Marvel and Disney classics, it's now The Witcher. It's no longer enough that there are no fixed protagonists in video games anymore, and it's not enough that they always have to be bisexual, no. Now you have to give the scene the coup de grace. Therefore, I have drawn the following conclusion. From now on, I will not buy or consume any new movies, series or video games, come what may. You pseudo-liberals have buried the entertainment industry in a very, very destructive way, by the way. And I will refer to all the beautiful and great games, movies and series that came out till 2016, 2017, because the media world wasn't as political back then as it is now. I mean, just, it's just unburlable. That's why I'm out. I will only deal with these products until the end of my life because they represent the golden era of the entertainment industry before, before you guys hijacked and broke it. Games like GTA 4, The Witcher 3, Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, Batman, Batman Arkham Knights, and so on, are, are timeless classics that you can't play through often enough. But with the best will in the world, I can no longer give myself this compulsive worldview mediation nowadays. Hashtag I stop. My name is Vigerald Belkason and you're watching the Serbo Hebrew.